Hello, my name is Ifeka Uweche. I'm going to be your math instructor today. We are going to deal with differential calculus, and in particular, we will be dealing with the fundamental rules of derivative. In this short lecture, I'm going to focus on one of the rules of derivative. If you take a look at the red arrow, those are the symbols we use to represent derivative. Furthermore, we are going to take a look at some of the rules guiding us whenever we are doing derivatives. And we shall be focusing today on one of the rules called power rule. Take a look at the blue arrow. That is your power rule. You are asked to find the derivative of x raised to the power n. If you look at the right side of the equation, it is n times x raised to the power n minus 1. How do we represent it? We can say that n is multiplied by the coefficient of x and the power n is reduced by 1. Let's take a look at the examples because that will clarify the rules of derivatives. If you look at example number 1, you are asked to find the derivative of x raised to the power 3. All you have to do is to multiply x by 3 and the power 3 is reduced by 1 which is equal to 3x raised to the power 2. We are just following the rules. Take a look at example number 2. You are asked to find the derivative of 2x raised to the power 5. What do we do? We use the power 5 to multiply 2. And x is raised to the power 5 minus 1. Which is the same thing as 10x raised to the power 4. Let us look at example number 3. You are asked to find the derivative of negative 3, x raised to the power 6. What do we do? We multiply negative 3 by 6 and we reduce the power 6 by 1. What do we have? We have negative 18x raised to the power 5. Ladies and gentlemen, all you need to do is to follow the rules. This is the basic use of the power rule. In my next lecture, we are going to make it more complex. I hope to see you again. Thank you.